All right, let's see how inside of a Docker container we can uh, run SSL or secure HTTPS serving connections with the help of a web server and uh, certificate authority, which we'll install here locally on our machine. We'll use mkcert. We are here under Ubuntu, so we'll download uh, this file, uh, which is for AMD64, and it's pre-compiled binary. So here we have it, and it's uh, called mkcert. We need to give a flag of execute uh, to be able to run this command. I'll be running it like this, and the first step is just to run local certificate authority inside of the system trust store. If we go to the HC hosts, you see that I've uh, used this domain, hello world info, and I've pointed it to the local host. That's nice because afterwards when you're developing, you can uh, set up HTTPS only cookies to domains. And uh, that's how you can set uh, such local domain without uh, the need this name to be registered. And then let's uh, generate the local certificates. We'll use this command. This is for local host. I'll replace local host with the name of the domain. Uh, so hello world info. And of course, uh, the path of the executable is different on my system. So I'll run the executable that we downloaded. And automatically, you see that uh, a certificate is created uh, for the following names. And the certificate is under the name of Hero World Info PEM. And the key is under the same name, uh, dash key.pm. And actually, we see it here on our directory. Uh, those two files later we can rename into cert pam and cert key pam we will need those two files uh, when we are configuring our apache to be able to read and trust them let's see now the configuration of apache and this is a pretty standard configuration the file is the default uh, configuration for the apache basically here in, on those two lines we are just providing the certificate and the certificate key that we uh, generated and uh, we'll be serving them from a directory inside of the container. So later we'll create uh, this uh, directory etc apache ssl and also as you can see we are serving everything from var www.html. So now our apache is ready to serve uh, content uh, using ssl and uh, let's see our docker file. And here we are just using the pre-built image of Apache with PHP. Based on it, uh, we are enabling SSL and mode rewrite. Afterwards, we are creating uh, this directory that we uh, mentioned here at C Apache uh, to SSL. Are copying our PAM secret uh, files inside of it. The same uh, way we are doing for the default configuration. So we are grabbing this file um, that we created locally and we are placing it inside of the container uh, as the default uh, running uh, configuration for Apache. Then we are enabling the normal HTTP and HTTPS ports inside of the container. And now it's time to see the Docker Compose. We are mapping our local directory, so all the files that we are developing under on our uh, machine into the container var www.html directory. Next, all the requests from port 80 inside of the container will be redirected to 8081 inside of our machine. The same is for 443 port. We can browse it through 8443. Let's run uh, now the configuration. So just run uh, docker compose up and this should uh, set up everything that is needed for the container. As we can see, our container is running. And then in order to test it, here I have a little Angular application, so I can run it with ng surf and then supplying the flag SSL. And this will compile the application and uh, run it for us to be able to see it, how we can interact with the container. All right, and we can see that we can open our browser under uh, this address, which is resonating with the domain name uh, we have given. And for Angular, um, we set up uh, this domain name in, inside of uh, its uh, um, built uh, configuration. And this is stored under the file Angular JSON, where we have a surf option. And uh, here 
we provided the host name. Of course, we can provide it to the CLI also. Now let's check the actual running program in the browser. All right, so we are reaching HTTPS address and we have a warning that uh, the connection is not private. So we can ignore this one. And now here we can issue other requests again with the HTTPS. And uh, if we go to the network, we can see that uh, they are working correctly. Uh, so for example, uh, we see that uh, we are browsing information on uh, port 8443, and that's where our secure PHP server is uh, serving information. So basically that's how you can set up your local development environment using MK cert for creating uh, locally trusted certificates. All right, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you liked the information, you can uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.